I have, I have actually given you one of them, you know. I know. I you sold it, didn't you, on eBay? Yeah, I prefer your one, mate. Eh? I prefer your one. So how does that feel being in the driver's seat, Tony? Sorry? How does it feel being in the driver's seat? Yeah, so I'll give you the word picture again, so I'll start again. Okay. Yeah, so I've had some lessons with... Uh, I had my first lesson last week with another instructor. Mm -hmm. And you've already given me the brief for the test centre, and you told me not to touch the pedals. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to do moving up and stopping. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Let's just go straight into the brief then. What was the first thing you want me to do? What would I have learned to do last week? I'll just ask you the questions again. No, what would I have learned to do last week? Controls this. If you set yourself up, Tony. Oh, right, yeah. Deep treble SM, isn't it? Excellent, yeah. Oh, Is your door closed? Well, how would you know if I, if I wasn't sitting in the car? How would you know it was closed? Oh, the closed? light's gone in. Yeah, and what else? How, would, uh, how else would you know? No, the line of the car looks... There's no brakes in the line of the car. Okay, so that's uh, good. And I did check the back doors as I walked around. Excellent, well done. So you remember it's your responsibility as a driver? No, it's yours. <laughs> Mine? Eh? <laughs> well, Alison must have not done a good job of explaining the whose responsibility the doors No, I told her I'm buying a three-door car. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've less doors to worry about, haven't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she'd try to get me to um, take responsibility for looking after her 13-year-old um, kids. <laughs> okay. This is not too expensive for me. Okay, so what can you see in that interior mirror, Tony? Oh, I can see, the, I can square the whole window. Mm -hmm. I see a bit of my head restraint. Mm -hmm. I can see the corner of your window. Excellent. And in your right door hand mirror? Uh, I see two finger widths. The sky comes in at the top and the road in the middle. Uh huh. And the left door hand mirror? Um, the sky comes in at the top, the curve in the middle. Excellent. Okay. So today's lesson is moving off and moving off and stopping. Yeah, I'm really excited. Excellent. Well, nothing to worry about today because obviously you will be starting the car off, right. moving off and stopping yep. today by the end of today's lesson. So, what we do. Uh, what we, the routine we use for moving off and stopping is, um, well, for moving off is the POM routine. That's, that's here if you're watching me here. So we prepare the car. Yeah. Um, having our left foot all the way down to the clutch pedal. Um, we select the first gear and then we come up to a biting point, which I'll guide you when I'm on the, on the move. Um, then what we do is we set the gas. Sorry, no, we set the gas at the thickness of a pan coin. That much, yet. and then uh, we bring the clutch up to biting point. Yeah. Okay. And then we keep our feet still. All right. At the biting point. Then we're going to consider if we need a signal. So we're going to see if there's like vehicles coming towards us or behind us or pedestrians walking towards us. If they, if any, any road users benefit from a signal, we'll pop a signal on. Okay. Um, then we'll bring up the clutch um, at a pound of its coin, so at a centimetre at a time. Um, we'll release the handbrake and then uh, just keep our feet still on the gas and uh, the car will be moving. We're going to do some slight steering movements today, which I'll um, consolidate with you in a moment. Um, or oh, I can do them now, actually. So if you just imagine the um, steering wheel as a clock face, top being 12, bottom yeah. being 6, and, you know, <coughs> the 3 being the quarter pass and, you know, quarter 2 as being the 9 there. I've got it, yeah. Yeah? You yeah. got it, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So if you just consolidate, so if I said, uh, to Tony, steer five minutes to you, how would you show me? Is that, is that five minutes? Yeah. Do you think that's five minutes? Well, five minutes would be about that much, wouldn't it? All right. Yeah. So imagine that as a clock face, right. five minutes would be here. Yeah. Yeah, so if it was ten minutes to me, five minutes. All right. And um, five minutes to me, yeah? Yeah. So that'd be ten minutes. And if I say straighten up, would you straighten the wheel? All right, yeah. Okay. Does that yeah. make sense? You yeah. happy with that? Yeah. Okay. So for stopping, we use a routine called the MSPSL routine. So what we do is, for stopping, we'll check our interior mirror, All right. left or hand mirror. Again, we'll, we'll consider a signal. If it benefits anyone, we'll pop a signal on. And then we'll do the steering movements. Um, I'll probably say to you, Tony, steer towards me five minutes, ten minutes to you, and straighten up. All right. Okay. And then I'll tell you to cover the brake, and then brake at the thickness of a pound coin, and then clutch all the way down and brake to stop. Oh. Okay, and then we're going to be looking um, where we've parked, if we've parked in a safe, legal and convenient place. Oh. Um, safe meaning that we're not parked in front of anyone's um, driveway, a drop curb or anything, so we're blocking their um, exit. Um, also, not parked on a bus lane or 
so where we're not call it, causing inconvenience to others. Oh, right. And also, um, sort of legal on sort of double yellow lines or clearway restrictions, so we're not causing any problems there. And nowhere near an opposite car, um, a vehicle park opposite us, or too close to the junction. All right. Okay. And um, what I will do is give you a ref, uh, sort of, sorry. What I will do um, is um, just ask you a couple of questions on, well, so consolidate and move on the cover the brake. If I say to you, Tony, cover the brake, yeah, that means just you come off the gas pedal onto the brake pedal. You're just covering it. You're not pressing it. So if you want to show me how to do that, do your right foot then, Tony. Yeah. So if you just cover the brake, so you're just covering it. You're not oh, pressing right. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I will ask you. So yeah. So you're just covering the brake. Okay. So um, can you just tell me where that straight line of the curb cuts into the car, Tony? Where the curb cuts into the car. Yeah. Um, I'll go there. Okay. You don't have to worry about it now, but just remember that you know um, that sort of point of where we just parked now. I don't need to move it Because when we're going to pull up on the left again, when we're stopping, we should be sort of this sort of distance. All oh, right. Okay. Away from the curb. So we're not yeah, no good asking it. If that roll, no good asking the question like that, and then that's telling me the reason for it, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's like so that, to, that's like going up to a stranger in the road and asking what's your name. Okay. But not getting any reason why, yeah. Okay. So that's the reference point we're going to be using for pulling up on the left. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. So. Give you. A key. Okay. Gotta get a key. Yep. So what we're gonna do then, Tony, I'm gonna set you up, um, guide you all the way for doing the moving off. Yeah. And then I'll guide you and stopping as well. Right. Okay. So if you start the car. Right, check, this. check. Yeah. Check that's up. Excellent. Don't touch the button, she said. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So what I'd like you to do with your left foot. Yeah. I would. Uh, I want you to press the clutch all the way down. All the way down. All yeah. the way down. Yeah. Okay, and keep your feet still there. You're going to select first gear. Oh, well, you see it's not quite right. Okay. So how does that feel? Have you got a little kink in your leg? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're going to select first gear. So gonna, right. Okay, that's third gear, Tony. Right. So we're going to palm all the way to all me right. and move to first. It's important, Tony, that we have it in first gear. Because if we didn't, and we was in third gear before, when we were moving off, <coughs> excuse me, the car would in fact stall. All oh, right. Yeah. And if we were on incline, the car will roll back. And if oh. there was a pedestrian there, we'd most likely run into them. Okay. Because it's very important that it's in first gear. So palm yeah. all the way to me, up into first. Okay. So what we're going to do now is set set the gas. Now I want you to, if you watch me, I'm going to set the gas at the thickness of a pan coin. All oh, right. So I'd like you to press it at the thickness of a pan coin. Okay. Just keep your right. Okay. It's important that we don't set the gas too high, Tony, because we did and released the handbrake. The car will shoot forward. Because it's important oh, right, that we just yeah. set it yeah, at the thickness of yeah. a pan coin. Yeah. And we don't want to set it too low, Tony, because if we did set the gas too low, the car wouldn't be going anywhere because it wouldn't have any power for the car to just drive on. Oh, right. Okay? Yeah. So it's important that we just set it at just about how you've got it now and just keep your feet still there. Okay? Yeah. So now we're going to set the uh, clutch. So I'm going to ask you to bring the clutch up a centimetre at a time. Oh, right. Okay? So, centimetre, centimetre and another centimetre and another centimetre. Okay, just dip it down um, the clutch at a thickness of a pound coin. All right. Okay, now that's what we call the biting point, Tony. And right. we don't want to set the clutch too high. Yeah. Because we did, once we released the handbrake, the car would shoot forward. And if All there right. was like a pedestrian crossing, you'd probably run into them. If there was a car in front of us parked, you'd actually most likely All right. hit the back of them. Um, and we don't want to set it too low, Tony, because the because um, if we once we release the handbrake, the car wouldn't go anywhere, it would just stall. Right. And again, if we were on an incline, the car would roll back. And oh. if there was a pedestrian crossing, we'd most likely hit into them. Yeah. Okay? So we set the, um, uh, the clutch as well. So um, keep your feet still, because that's what we, what's called the, uh, known as the biting point. Oh, right. Okay? Yeah. Now, what we're going to do, um, the second part of the POM routine, is the all round observation. So the O. So it's the all round oh, observation. Oh, that's what POM means, is it? Yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah so POM is prepare, observe, and maneuver. Oh, right, yeah. Maneuver, move, sorry. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the left, with your left shoulder, all the way into that back window there, Tony. Uh, all the way there. Anybody coming there? No. No. Anybody coming all the way? Scan all the way around you. Anyone in your left no. hand mirror? Any cyclists or anything popular? No. No. Okay. Scan in front of you. All right. Looking into all the yeah, driveways and that. Yeah, cyclists. Um, the cyclists getting down the pavement. It's not a problem, do I'm not driving on the pavement, am I? No. But they, what they'll do is they could most likely come along the pavement and then come right in front of you while we're moving, they could be oh, in front of us as well yeah. and they could hit into them, couldn't you? Oh, right. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's always important to check those for the cyclists. Okay, and then we're just scanning ahead, 
looking into all the driveways, making sure no kids are running out or anything like that. Yeah. So we're gonna check our interior mirror. Check it, Tony. All right. Yeah, right door hand mirror. Check it. Anybody coming? No. Okay. So look right over your um, uh, right shoulder into the blind spot. All into right. your blind spot, Tony. There you go. Okay. It, between your head restraint and door pillar, Tony. All right. Yeah. What can you see? I see a driveway. Okay. Well, there could be a car coming there, but All when right. we move off, they could be coming into it. We've got to yeah. um, check the blind spots. You know, we could have a, um, an accident. Okay. So we're going to consider a signal now. So Tony. We are going to pop a signal because we've got oh. cars coming, okay? So, okay, so we're just, going to, just before we go, we just check your interior mirror again, your right door hand mirror, and your blind spot again. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're going to release the handbrake. Yeah. Okay. We're going to bring the clutch up at a centimetre. Keep your feet still on the gas. And just cover your... Uh, um, so cancel the signal, Tony. We steer towards you five minutes, and t t ten minutes to me, and straighten up. Okay? Yeah. So keep your feet still on the yeah. gas. We're going, to shoot, we're going to stop before this red car here, so what I want to do... Guys, have a thought the clutch is really hurting me. Yeah, just, yeah, just cover the clutch now. Oh. So, so check into your mirror, check it. Yeah. Left or hand mirror, check it. Yeah. Cover the brake. Cover oh, the... stopping you. Okay, no, we're just going to we'll, we'll, we'll stop ahead. So if you just keep your feet still on the pedals. So we're going to stop after this silver car here, the Audi. So I want you to check into your mirror, check it, Tony. All right, yeah. Check it. Yeah. Left or hand mirror, Tony. Right, yeah. Left or hand oh, mirror, yeah. check it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to consider a signal. We don't need to signal because no one's here. So we're going to cover the brake. Yeah. Right, stay towards me five minutes. Keep doing again a bit for me five minutes. And ten minutes to you. Straighten up. Okay, break out the thickness of a pound coin. And clutch all the way down. And break to stop. Okay, keep your feet still, Tony. Hand brake on. Keep your feet still, Tony. Into neutral. Oh, and relax your feet. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels too bad. I did stall, didn't I? No, you don't. It was really good. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to just make sure we look to see if we're in a safe and legal convenient place now. We are in between two driveways. But obviously we don't want to, we could have parked just a little bit. I should have got you to stop just, just over uh -huh. there. But um, yeah, what we do is we're not parked too close to a junction there. We're not parked opposite a car or anything. Um, not in any yellow lines or bus station, bus stops, sorry, bus stations, bus stops. <laughs> Um, yeah, so can you just tell me where that straight line of that curb cuts into the uh, car again? Different place this time. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Are we too far out to the curb? Hey. Is it, is it too far from the... I've never done this before, I wouldn't know. Yeah, for that reference point that I gave you at the beginning of the lesson. Yeah, it's not, it's not coming in the same place. It's not coming in the same place. What we'll do is not a problem, we'll try that again. Alright. Oh, okay. So, um, do you remember how, how to prepare... Is it, is it important then to be, uh... You know, you, you pick this reference point and you tell me I need to be in the right place at the curb. Mm -hmm. It is important, Tony, because um, we don't want to overhang the curb because there could be a pedestrian waiting there or waiting to cross. Oh, there's no the overhang on the side of the car, is there? No, but it's important that we actually uh, sort of a drains with the way parked away from the curb for our normal stopping distance to park on the left. What is that important then? Why is it important yeah. to allow vehicles behind us to go um, past us? Um, because if we park this this far, sort of out, um, vehicles behind us may sort of. Um, well, parking close to the curb and give them more room. Yeah, give them more room. So obviously they don't, um, you don't force them onto oncoming vehicles. Yeah, so I'm parking even closer. Yeah. Is yeah. it is it important to be not? not too close to the curb or not too far away? It's important to be as close to the curb um, to allow vehicles to pass. So if I got too close to the curb and I got up on the curb, would I kill that jogger? Yeah, exactly. Yeah? That's what I was All trying right. to explain yeah. before. That yeah, <coughs> if you were too close to the curb or overhang over the curb, then yeah, there was a pedestrian like him, you'd obviously... Yeah, don't forget, get the money in the bank in the early <coughs> stages, yeah? Yeah, you'd most likely yeah. run him over, yeah. Well, I'm never going to learn anything if you, uh, if you just keep telling me to do things, do this, do that, do this, do that. Yeah. You've got to come in with the because, haven't you? Yeah. So how did that feel? I felt good, yeah. Okay, do you want to try that again? Yeah. Okay. So do you remember the first part of the POM routine? Um, what, would you, what did we do uh, first? I'll clutch all the way there, isn't it? Excellent. Um, 
in the mm -hmm. gear. Oh, select first gear. Yeah. Why is it important with selecting first gear? Oh, because I was stolen. I was where the drink stand the pub, wasn't it? Excellent. Well done. And what do we do next? Um, set the gas, thickness of a pound <coughs> coin. Mm -hmm. And why is it important with, uh, with, uh, with setting it at thickness of a pound co coin, Tony? Um, why is it important that we don't set it too high? Oh, yeah. Because when I let the handbrake down and the clutch is too high, it can go shoot off the road, wouldn't it? Excellent. And, and if we set the gas too low? I'd probably stall, wouldn't I? It would have gone uphill. Brilliant. Well done. Okay. And what's next? Oh, centimetre thingy, innit? Um, of what? On the clutch. Yeah. Centimetre. Yeah. Another centimetre. Mm-hmm. And I got that the, engine raised. Yeah. That, what are we waiting for? What are we... Engine not to change. Yeah. And what's that called? Biting point. Excellent. Okay, so why is it important that we don't have the clutch too high, Tony? Oh, because it goes shooting down the road again, wasn't it? Excellent. And if it was to set too low? I'm rolling back. Excellent. Well done. And what would the consequence of that be? Because uh, it's somebody behind, couldn't it? Excellent. Well done. Okay, so that's the... Okay, so keep your feet still, Tony. Okay, oh, oh, is that important to keep your feet still? Keep your feet oh, still, right, yeah. 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 Keep your feet still, right, Tony, because what would happen once yeah, you... Yeah, can you remind me of that, because it's... Uh... It's only the first time I've ever done yeah. this, isn't it? So it's important that we keep our feet still at this point, Tony, because yeah. if, if you uh, brought that clutch up, the car would shoot forward. Yeah, I could feel that happening, yeah. yeah. you just see it, it yeah. did happen now. So, yeah, because if there's a car in front of us or a pedestrian walking across, you most likely hit into them. Oh, right, okay, yeah. so it's important yeah. that we keep our feet still, yeah. and then we're going to do the second part of the palm routine, which yeah. is the O. Oh, right. And um, so we're going to look all, all around over your left shoulder. Keep your feet still, Tony. Why am I checking over the left shoulder? To make sure there's no cyclists or, or any pedestrians coming. I can see them in the mirror here. Yeah, there might be a driveway there. You might miss out, or you might miss. That's yeah, your sort of yeah, left. Just, that's your blind out. spot, isn't it? Yeah, just come out and roll a minute. That's uh, not covered in your mirrors, is it? I have told you this before that when I'm parked by the curb, the driver's standing there. You see, and not really looking for a six-point check, are they? No. Yeah. The only reason I have to do a six-point check is if there's an alleyway or a lane there, mm. or there's a bunch of lads having a fag or a, or a can of beer there, yeah? Mm. Because because all it does, it means that it's taken me a long time to get the observations done, mm. and at that time I could miss could have missed four or five opportunities to go, yeah? Okay. Let's check the interior mirror first. If there's 20 cars come up behind you, don't go any further. Then check the left-hand door mirror, looking out for pedestrians or cyclists. Mm -hmm. Check the interior mirror. Anybody coming now? Check the right hand door and see if anybody's overtaking you. Mm -hmm. Is there? No. Look between the head of straight to the door pillar, the blind spot. Is there anybody coming? No. Look ahead. Do we need a signal? No. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, right, then Tony, so we can check on yeah, check on um, left or hand. Is anybody coming? Um, I'll check it in for sure, because I uh, Yeah, so we're checking interior. Many uh, cars coming alongside yeah, us. Yeah, he's nearly gone now. Okay, so we'll let him go past. So, interior mirror, anybody coming in cyclists alongside us? Is there only cyclists? And pedestrians? Oh, no. No? Okay, so interior again, check. That's interior. important to check for cyclists and pedestrians, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is, yeah. You just don't want them cycling, cycling alongside us and then popping onto the, oh, um, right, yeah, yeah. To the uh, road. So anybody in, in the interior mirror coming behind us? No, just no? two pedestrians on the pavement. Okay, we'll keep an eye on them. So scan in front of you, anybody coming out those no. drivers or anything? No. Okay, right door hand mirror, Tony, anybody coming? No. Okay, so in your blind spot then, between your head restraint and door pillar? Nobody there. Excellent. Okay, so check out into your mirror again. Anybody coming? No. Okay, so we're going to um, consider a signal. So... Yeah, I'll give a signal for those pedestrians, will I? Excellent, yeah. Okay then, so release the handbrake. Alright. And then steer towards you five minutes. Alright. And ten minutes to me. And straighten up. Okay, so bring your clutch up a centimetre yeah. at a time. And just cover the cl uh, clutch and just keep your feet still on All the right. clutch. And just keep your feet still on the brake. Yeah. Cancel your signal, Tony. Right. Okay, so we're going to just stop just um, past this second uh, rail and sign or whatever it is. So we check our interior mirror, Tony. Check right. it, check it, Tony. Right, yeah. Okay, the left door hand mirror for the cyclist. Left door hand right, mirror for yeah, cyclists, yeah. okay? So we're going to consider a signal, which we won't need. So cover the brake. Cover the brake, Tony. Okay, steer towards me five minutes. And ten minutes to you. Ten minutes to you. And straighten up. Brake and thickness for pound coin. Clutch all the way down. And brake to stop. So keep your feet still, Tony. Yeah. Keep your feet still. Handbrake on. Keep your feet still and gear into neutral and relax your feet. How did that feel? Good. Well done. Yeah. yeah. So can you just tell me with the curve, that straight line of the curve? Oh, it comes in. It comes in the same place as it did on the first one. Excellent. Okay. When you asked me before we moved off. Brilliant. Excellent. Okay. And what is the importance of being close to the curb like that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, 
I couldn't quite figure out what you were talking about at the beginning, but I understand now. Okay. If I'm too close, mm -hmm. I could clip the curb mm -hmm. and I could kill these two Those people, couldn't I? Excellent. And they look like nice people, don't they? Excellent. And, and why is it important that we're not um, too far away oh, from the I, Oh, I got that bit. Yeah. Um, it was, I think it was more important not to block the road than to kill pedestrians, wasn't it? Brilliant. Excellent. Well done. So yeah. otherwise, because behind us, you may force them to sort of... Well... If I'm blocking the road, they're yeah, then get, you're blocking the road. Yeah, then you're blocking the road. Yeah, exactly. And they're probably going to come around and turn you off, aren't they? Well done, well done. Yeah, I had that feeling. Oh, I'll take around the corner here. Okay. Very good. Shall we? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so the only mistake you made there uh, was doing. Why does Why does nobody listen to me anymore? <laughs> it's like being with Nico, isn't it? <laughs> it's catching, isn't it? Oh, and Nico's like? got a lot of answer for. Her. Let Tony get the first two words in and then you finish your sentence off, yeah? Leave Nico alone, Tony. I'm sure all of you're you are ganging bully. up on me. You're a bully. You bully us. Alison beats me up. <laughs> just because I try and touch your seatbelt. <laughs> oh, Deb dear. says, puts rude things about me on Facebook. <laughs> we love you, really. Yeah. <laughs> and that Andy's no better. <laughs> and Michael totally ignores everybody. <laughs> oh. Okay. Right, so this is my third attempt now, and you've got a lot of money in the bank here now, yeah? Okie dokie. Yeah? Yeah. But you only get that money in the bank with what? Education given. Information detail, given. Yeah? Detail given, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you can, only, you can only take the money out when the detail's in there, yeah? Okie dokie. So, you know, don't don't treat that first one as I'm a parrot, yeah? Okay. Give the detail, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Tony, we're going to try this once more. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um... Um... We're going to use the pom routine. We're going to use the pom routine again. So I'm yeah, 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 can you remember what the P is? Can you remember what the P is? Oh, yeah, I've got to prepare, haven't I? Okay, so can you remember um, how to prepare yeah, the Yeah, I've got a clutch down. Mm -hmm. uh, a select first gear. Mm -hmm. Now, why is it important to select first gear? Oh, I don't install, do I? Excellent, well done. Okay, and then what we're going to do next? Oh, I'm going to set the gas things at a pound coin. Mm -hmm. Now, why is it important to set the other things at a pound coin and not too high? Um, if it's too high, as I let the handbrake down and mm -hmm. the clutch comes up, it could shoot down the road, couldn't it? Excellent. And if it was too low, if it was oh, set stalled, too... isn't it? It's gone uphill, isn't it? Brilliant. Well done. Okay, so what else are we going to do next? Oh, uh, a centimetre on the clutch, isn't it? Excellent. Another centimetre, mm -hmm. another centimetre. Mm -hmm. And then when I hear the engine now change, mm -hmm. I keep my... F that's it, I keep it on biting point, isn't it? Yeah. And what, why is it important not to have the clutch too high? Oh, again, I let the handbrake down and go shooting forward like a dog pulling on a... On the lead, isn't it? Okay, and if it was set too low, Tony? Well, we're going to roll back on this, and we're on a hill again, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Brilliant. You made it really difficult when we're giving you all these difficult ones to do, aren't you? Let's <laughs> just uh, make sure, not, obviously, in our normal driving, when you're going to be having more lessons later on, obviously, these, we might be on roads like this, so it's important that you know yeah. that, okay? Okay, so what is the second part then of the POM routine, then, Tony? Uh, Audio. Okay, so what, where are we looking first? Um, I'll look in there to make sure there's not loads of cars coming behind me. And are they? No. Okay, and where else are we going to look? Um, look in there for pedestrians and bikes that might come down the pavement and shoot out in front of me. Okay, so can you see any? No. Okay, and where else are we looking then? Um, no, look in there, it's still clear. Mm -hmm. Look in there, see if anybody's overtaking me or mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. And where else are we looking? Oh, and that between the head, just right in the door, pull in the blind spot, there's nobody there. Okay, so what are we going to do next then? Consider. Um, I'll consider a signal. Okay, so would anyone benefit from it? Uh, I don't, I don't, no, because they're, they're walking away, away from me, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, there's the handbrake. And then what we're going to do is steer towards where? Oh, yeah, five minutes to me, isn't it? Yep. Um, ten minutes back to me? Ten minutes back to you. And then straighten up? And then straighten up. Okay. Bring the clutch up, but you said keep it covered, covered because yeah, we're going to be stopping short. shortly, aren't we? Well done, brilliant. We're going to keep, uh, keep our feet still yeah. on the gas. Okay, so we're going to stop just before the second lamppost there. So what are you going to do then? Um, I'll check the interior mirror. Yep, and then I'll what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. um, I'll check the left mirror. Yep. So going to consider what? Check the left mirror. Check the left mirror, Tony. Check the left mirror. Yeah, any, check. any cyclist there? Check the left mirror. Check the left mirror. There's money in the bank here, isn't it? Yeah, check the left mirror. Yeah. Any cyclist there? Isn't it? There's money in the bank here. We're going to leave it there the next year, are you? Okay, so what are you going to do next? Check the left mirror. Yeah. Good chance to take money out there, isn't it? What are you checking in the left door? Oh, what are you checking the left door mirror for, Tony? Even I've forgotten now. Oh, oh bicycles. Okay, so and it's bicycles on the left mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what's the next thing we're going to do? 
Oh, uh, consider a signal, isn't it? Yeah, so would anyone benefit from a signal here? I don't think so, no. Okay, so then what else are we going to do? Uh, I've got to um, cover the brake. Okay. And this. Um, uh, five minutes to you. Yep. Uh, ten minutes to you, ten minutes ooh, to you. Okay. Yeah, ten minutes to you. And, and straight. straighten up. Excellent. It's going to keep the cog going just a little bit further. Yeah. Then we're going to press the brake and fix the power coin and clutch all the way down and just stop there. Keep your feet still, Tony. Oh, yeah, 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 remember? Yeah. We're going to put the handbrake on oh, yeah. and keep your feet still. Yeah. And then what are we going to do? Neutral. And then relax our feet. Cool. Okay. Well done well there. Right, it was excellent. Well done. Well done. So where does the curb, the straight line of the curb, cut into the car now, Tony? Exactly the same place again. Excellent. Well done. That was really good. Really happy. Exactly the same place again. As the at the beginning of the lesson. Exactly the same place again. Exactly the same place again. Look. So where was that? Where is that? You know what I said to Nico the other day, yeah? Yeah. He's got a couple of hundred thousand pounds or a hundred euros hmm. in in the Cyprus bank, yeah? Hmm. If he doesn't take it out quickly, the government's just about to take 60% of it away, yeah? Yeah. I'm doing the same with your money, yeah? Yeah. I've invested all this money that you're putting in with this education. Mm-hmm. Nico's putting it into his account, yeah? Yeah. You're going to lose 60% of it if you don't draw it out quickly. Okay. So ask me that question again. So... Where does that... Where does that reference point... Um, so where's that reference point I gave you for... Oh, same place the last time. Excellent. Okay, and what, why is that important? Oh, it tells me that I'm not too close to the curb, I'm not too far away. Actually, that's really good. And you remember the reasons why? If you were too close? Oh, yeah, if I was too close, I could mount the curb and mm -hmm. kill a pedestrian. Okay, if you're too further away from it? Oh, I'd be blocking the road, wouldn't I? Excellent. Well done, Tony. That's excellent. Brilliant. No idea? Yep. Yeah? Good stuff. Yes, you know, you've, you've, got, you've already given that detail. Yeah. Get in there and take that money back out, yeah? Yep. That was very good. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, it's not... You know, they really are keen on this on this check and what learning's taking place, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And, and you do it on most things, but then... then you ask some good questions at the end, but then you never actually quite find out. You never take the question far enough, you know, where does the curb go into the car? Oh, yeah, there, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I had a pet budgie, you probably could have... I could get him to repeat that, couldn't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But he wouldn't have a clue what the reasons were, were yeah? Yeah, yeah. Find out, yeah, find out, you know, how much more I've learned, yeah? Okay. And that's the magic ingredient to uh, getting that six, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I like the way you uh, let me have a, go a little bit of go the steering now. You weren't frightened. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, but then I realised what you were doing. You're bringing it into. He's like, oh, ten minutes, like, ten minutes to you, turn it straight the car up. Yeah, but, I, yeah, yeah, but not on the last one I did, did I? No, no, I did. Um, I did you on that one. Yeah, obviously on the first one, <laughs> if you leave me alone, you're uh, you're going to come and stuck, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, you've got to give me a couple of chads, uh, a couple of bites of the cherry. Yeah. Don't forget, you've got to get some money in before you can take it out. Exactly, yeah. And if you try taking it out too quickly, it's just bad enough not taking any out, isn't it? Yep. That's why you're a very rich lady, isn't it? Thanks. <laughs> you, hide it, you hide underneath the mattress. It's very, very good, sorry. Well done. Thank you. I'm Thank impressed. You. Yeah? I don't know what my PDRs are taking this week, but it must be catchy. It's what Nico gives us all. See? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's not giving you that stuff that he, that he calls water, does he? That is not water, I'll tell you that I'm now. I'm sure he yeah? knows what I'm talking about, eh, Nico? No. Yeah, I'm sure he does. No, that's not water, I'm telling you. <laughs> that is, uh, that's a special uh, Cypress drink, that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he realises.